Hi, Logan Kane here, and this is going to be a little tutorial about how I deal with all my recordings, at least for the most part. First of all, I use Simple Screen Recorder here, which I can't really show you my settings, but I pretty much just use the high quality settings. I keep it to 1900 by uh, 1080. Well, here's my most of my settings. Set a file name, whatever. So I just got done recording Freedom Planet which I'm going to throw up as a pseudo play or a pseudo look. And here is well my audacity. This is how I re right now I'm recording with simple screen recorder. I hope it doesn't come out awful, but this is what I usually do. I tell audacity to record, make sure my mic works, and then I go 3 2 1, make a bit of a loud sound and click at the same time on my recording button. That way I can have both my audacity sunk up with my simple screen recorder. So, I've already saved this all, so I'm going to go ahead and do my effect. I click on this to make sure it's selected. I don't think I have to, but it makes me feel better. Then I go to the compressor and I just let it do it. I just let it work as the compressor. I just I don't care. I am not an audio engineer. Audacity is great default settings for the compressor. While this is going on, may as well open up Caden Live, my video editor of choice. And then I actually don't I actually don't actually. I don't actually edit any of the audio in Audacity here outside of that. And I save my edited video separate from my raw. Or my audio. My edited audio separate from my raw. Anyway, I got that generate. Damn it. I got the generation done. The generation. Come on. Now I need to go and export audio. And I use AUG, but you can use any of the things here. But I use AUG. It makes the files a little smaller than using RAW. It takes a long time for me to compile the way I got things going. So there we go. And then you can fill this out if you want, but I, I don't care. So now it's exporting the audio project as an AUG. And I'll do all my, ed my, all my audio editing beyond the compression. And all my video editing will be done within Caden Live. Now when you first start Caden Live, it's going to... Actually, I think I can make it go through the setup wizard. Is there a setup wizard here? Run config wizard. Okay, so the first time you run Caden Live, this thing comes up, and it tells you what available modules you have and what codecs you can deal with. So I'm using 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now if you guys, a lot of people, and what I used to do actually, and what I do do when I use OBS instead of simple screen re recorder, I record in 720p at 30 frames per second. You need to make sure this is matched up with the video type you're importing. However, that said, it usually tells you, hey, it's not right, and it actually knows it, unlike Blender. So the first thing I usually do is go in here, and I'm going to probably add an audio track. No, I'm not going to be adding any audio tracks, any additional audio tracks. So I'm going to only have one video and one audio. This is going to be the audio of my commentary. This will be the video and the in-game sound. My next step, I go to my home folder and wait, because I don't have an SSD in here, which I really should. Then I go to my videos. No, that yeah, videos. So there's, yeah, I still got some of my old Shadowgate stuff in here, but I'll drag Freedom Planet. Which one is this? 1016, 10 to 13, 21. Okay. Yeah, I didn't change the name on it when I started recording, so this is actually the video I'm recording right now that says Freedom Planet for this one. But we drag in the two audio files, and normally you may have heard some of my Twisted Q music when I'm fast-forwarding through uh, the first Let's Play I did. I can't remember what it's called right now. But anyway, the uh, pr Paper Sorcerer. I'm still saying anyways. And then right here, I mean, I'd just be able to drag this on in and be good to go. But we're not doing that because I shouldn't need to. So here we go. This is where I'm going to go ahead and start getting everything ready. And for whatever reason, it's being slow right now. You can see a progress bar down here. Once that's done, it should show me all the audio waves. And being able to see the audio wave is incredibly important. Oh, where am I at right now? How, how long have we been doing this? It's already been five minutes, and I haven't even gotten into the editing. Jeez. Well, the first thing I usually do... I can do this now. As I go to add effect here, because it's just it's just easier for me to track it this way. 
I go to audio correction and volume keyframe. And I don't know why this is all jacked up, but whatever. So here's my volume keyframe. I drop this down to 10 because simple screen recorder and OBS as well, if you're using that, just records at the maximum possible volume. And if I left it at 100, everybody would go deaf. And then for mine, I actually don't do any editing to it anymore. So here we are. We're still waiting on this crap to finish. Maybe it's going slow because I'm recording at the same time. I don't know. I don't know. But you could... So the effects stack, I prefer to have it... I don't know if I can even do this now. I want it as a tab. There we go. That's better. So you can go through the effects list and look through everything here, but I find it easier just to right click. All right, we're done. So I hold control and I scroll the mouse wheel here and it will zoom in to wherever this bar is, the little thingy. Unfortunately, it doesn't follow the mouse, but whatever. Right here, we can see, let me zoom in, we can see that this is significantly higher than that. That's where I did my click track. So we, we can actually go ahead and click play. You can hear that I clicked. So I want to bring my video all the way back over here because I started them both at approximately the same time. And nobody's going to notice a frame or two difference, especially when there's no video of a person and their lips being slightly off. And then I press X. Well, actually, let's click here first, zoom all the way in. I press X. That brings up the scissors. Click on the right side of whatever you want to cut at, and then I just left-click on that and delete it with the delete key. Now, we know that the very beginnings are set up. So I control space will actually play. So if you don't see me click play over here, that's what I'm doing. And Caden Live stops for whatever reason. So you can hit space and then hit space again to play. Because spa space is play pause, but control space is play from the beginning. So we're going into the video, and usually I'll skip through here. And we heard... Caden here, and this is Freedom Planet. Okay, so that's where I started. So I'll hit space there to pause it. Look at my sound waves, trying, and you get a feel for it after a while, where to start. And then, bam, just eliminate all that crap from the beginning, and tell it to play again. And listen to it to make sure you cut it at a good spot. Logan Kane here, and this is Sounds good enough to me. So we're going to start over from the beginning, control space Kane to get it back to the beginning. And that's what happens a lot. Don't know if you guys can actually hear the audio. Try and maximize that. So it is playing the audio in, in the in the event you can't hear it. So <clears throat> it's not incredibly important. So yes, this is me going through my video. And I didn't really have anything that I really needed to edit in this video. So I'm just going to show you some things I, I could do if I wanted to. So right here, I could right click on this video, add effect. There are all of these effects, especially at least on Ubuntu. And these are all audio processing effects it can do. It can do just about everything that FFmpeg can do. Surprise, surprise. But let's say I want to speed it up. That's a very common thing. I'm going to speed up the video and scroll down. Here's the speed. And what I usually did in Paper Sorcerer was 800 to 1,000. But let's change it to 1,000 just for funs. And it's a play. And then it's not going to work, is it? It's not going to work when I'm trying to show you guys how to do it. Put a zero there. Hit enter. There we go. So yeah, you see that? That 20-minute video is now that. And it's just speeding through. And then, you know, of course, pause it, control Z, and goes back. Oh, something very important that I didn't do. As soon as you open up Caden Live, save it. <laughs> save your project. Because in the event that it decides it wants to crash, which it may have just done, nope, Freedom Planet. In the event that it decides to crash, it will not recover unless you have a save, and then you try to load that crash save. I could be wrong on that, but I haven't, I haven't discovered it. Another very important thing that I've discovered, accidentally actually, if you scroll in, you get to the edges here, and you see that little, it makes that thing there, I can actually drag that, 
that's fade. So the, the voice will slowly fade away, which is what I started doing near the end of my Paper Sorcerer videos. And the same thing works here. You can drag it in, and it'll fade in. So let's undo those, because I don't want to do that. And I'm actually, this, I'm actually doing this. This is what I... Yeah. The end result of this that'll show up on Monday is... Uh, is going to be from what I've done while I'm showing you guys this here. So, oh god. That does happen sometimes. Need to get rid of that speed modifier. And for some reason, okay, I well, I screwed everything up. Well, <laughs> all right. Somehow I managed to accidentally delete everything, but let's volume keyframe this again to 10 cuz otherwise it'll be really really loud. And I know you guys probably can't hear it very well. But that's not important. The important thing is you guys understand this is how you can use fully open source software and fully open source codecs and then a closed, probably closed source proprietary game. But that, let's forget about that part. And edit, completely edit through video. And then a lot of what I do is based on what I see my voice here. Like, normally I'd have already had this done, of course, but... And then we wait. I heard myself say, enjoy, because I knew that was how I ended. Hit space to pause it. Hold control and mouse wheel again to zoom all the way in here. Click. Click. Zoom out. Delete those little ends off. Make sure everything's all the way back at the beginning so there's no black space. Okay, here, and this is okay, that sounded good. Thing that happens. Don't know why it happens. I just accept it. Oh, you can also use the mouse wheel here to go several frames, but usually it just annoys me because I'm trying to do this and I mess up and do this. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. And then I'll listen to the end. I just got to remember that if I had any major mistakes or blunders I wanted to fix on the inside, to do it. And then, yeah. And then probably buzz again at the end there. Pause it, and then I like to click over here. Now this, I actually don't know how... It's probably up here somewhere. It's probably project and then render. Yeah, it's right there, render. But I always use... I hold control, press return. Bam. There's my rendering. First thing, this is destined for the website, for a website, blah, YouTube and Zipcast, of course. Then I go here, my wherever the heck I keep my thing, call it Freedom Planet, click OK. And then I took WebM here, and I made a new one, let's see, copy profile, edit profile, create new profile. I click create new profile, and it created this one. Which, if you actually look, when I click through these, the numbers change. But interestingly enough, for these two, they don't. In fact, yeah. Now, let's see. Okay, edit profile. I changed it to be an MKV extension instead of WebM. And then the profile name, web. I wonder if I can edit this profile. No, I can't have them side by side. Of course I can't have them side by side. That'd be too easy. Where's edit? You know what, screw it, let's just make a new one. See how the, the profile name, web, webm, I just changed that to MKV because that's what I wanted, and then I changed my default qualities. Of course, I later changed them back because, man. And this is a short video, look at that. Nine, almost 20 minutes, right? And now I'm going to click render to file. Because I got my destination done, website, so it shows me this. You could also click show all profiles, and I think that works, but... I use my custom encoder. It automatically puts the extension on for me. Make sure that's all right. Click render. And then it'll say waiting. Uh, one other thing I'd like to show is, let's see, configure. It's one of the configuration screens. I don't remember where it is. It might be configure Caden Live. KDE is weird. Yes, transcoding. That's what I want, right? No, it's not what I want. Miscellaneous is what I want. No. What is what I want? Project defaults. Here at Project, you can set how many video tracks you have and how many audio tracks you have. I should probably actually change that to one because I never have more than one video track. 
and it's not hard to add it. I can just right click over here and add one. But what I'm actually looking for is the environment. This is the concurrent threads. If you want it to be done as fast as possible, you take the number of cores your processor has and add one. Or don't do that. I use four. I have an eight core processor, but I only use four because I like to be able to edit multiple videos. I've maybe noticed a 20 minute difference between four cores and eight cores. And with, like I said, with four cores, I can have one video encoding while I'm working on another. And that's about it. And as you can see, this will take an hour and 22 minutes and 30 seconds. If when I was using OBS, it was using much lower quality stuff and it was compiling in about 30 minutes. And then probably takes another 30 minutes to upload on my slow upload connection. But yeah, uh, that's it for how I do my videos. Oh, right, I can close that to no ill effect. First, I open up Audacity, I hit record, I make sure that the microphone's all working properly. Then with Simple Screen Recorder, I wait, I'm like, one, two, three, click, and I click at the same time. That way I have the track together so I can sync it up easily. And then show, I showed you that you just drag and drop the videos in here. And then you can move the videos around, manipulate them. You press X to get the scissors up. You press S to go back to the selection. And then you can cut it up however you need to. Delete the parts you don't want. Slide them on over. Move them to other audio tracks if you want. You can double click here. You can add tracks and whatnot. You can right click here and you can insert tracks if you want. Before or after, audio or video track. Yeah, Caden Live is pretty great. And the best part is, I can do this. I can turn the volume down. So, like, there's some pe there's some YouTubers out there, I really like their work, but wow. It's this loud for the video. And then they're this loud, so they crank up their volume. So they're crack, 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 clipping all the time on the freaking thing. With this, I can turn this down. I can turn the game music down to 10, and it's still plenty loud. And then my voice, I don't have to amp it, I don't have to boost it, I don't have to add gain or anything, so it doesn't cause excessive clipping. But that's it for this video. This has been a 17-minute video that could have probably been done in 5 minutes if I planned it out better. But hopefully it's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.